Well, well, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's stupid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, oh my gosh, it's so cold today. It's about 43 degrees, and tonight it's gonna drop down to about 29, and we're expected to get some sleet and some frost, so I've gotta harvest my loofah. So with loofah, I've heard, this is only my first year growing them, but I've heard that if you harvest them before the frost, you can leave them out to dry. If you harvest them after the frost, you have to peel them right away or they'll rot. So I'm gonna harvest mine right now and then I'm gonna be really, really upset if it doesn't frost tonight. harvested a bunch of not a bunch just a few of the younger fruit off my vegetable plants um because these won't make it through the frost and then these are all the lupas i got and i actually didn't pick all of them because some of them were really really small and they just they wouldn't have been good for anything um but i think we did pretty good this is just off of one lupa plant that i started really late in the season um so i'm pretty happy with this i hope that some of them are gonna be viable. I really don't care if I don't get any loofah, I just wanna get seeds. And this one actually, it feels pretty spongy and it, the top broke off. And it does look a little fibrous, so I'm gonna bust this one open tonight and peel it and wash it off and see if I can't get a good loofah out of this one. And then I can kinda of see what the progress is gonna be for everything else because this one was starting to turn um, just like this one. So I think these ones are gonna be pretty good, but a lot of these, like this huge massive one is nowhere close to turning. It's super, super firm. And the same with this one. So I'm not sure why these smaller ones were turning and the bigger ones weren't, but this one was a little bit, just barely, but not bad. Oh, and we are going to keep this watermelon. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a little bit of good fruit out of it. Um, but that is definitely not gonna make it out here overnight, so. I think we're ready for this. Well, I'm not ready, but I think the garden is as ready as it'll ever be for its first frost. I have to go cover up the well, uh, the head, so it doesn't freeze over tonight. So what I was thinking was, since I didn't have time to make something, then I'm gonna use this IBC tote, flipped over on, uh, flipped it over, and put it over the, the well. That's about it. Let's see if that works. What else do you have on the well? <laughs> there is a uh, a cord that's plugged in and it's, it's got heating elements in it and it should uh, heat it up, but I wanna make sure I insulate it too. Uh, and if I get real fancy, I'm gonna put some Christmas lights in there too, since it's almost Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, that should keep it warmer too, I'm, I'm assuming. So let's go check it out. I gotta load this in the back of the truck and come along with me for the ride. Do I have to go outside? You can sit in the truck. I, I have the heater on. I have to go in the cold? Alright, I'll turn the seat, heated seats on.
Alright, I ab abandoned the uh, Christmas light idea because there wasn't a good place to attach them to. And one set was LEDs, which don't put off much heat. So, I said, yeah, scrap that idea. Uh, I think the wire that, um, the coil that's already on there will be hot enough because it's wrapped around there really good. So we'll see how that works. <sighs> out of breath. Soggy out there. Super wet. Hope it don't get stuck. Remember when we got stuck last year? Let's hope, uh, hope that doesn't happen again. All right, today, this is the task I have to do. It's cold outside, it's supposed to be 29 degrees tonight, and I have to, we're on a pump. We're on a pump, we're on a pump. <laughs> we are on a well here. We are on a well. Is that what we're on a well? We have a well. We have to go cover up the well, the well head. We have a well in the backyard. <laughs> we live by the ocean. We're on a well, so. Oh. 